is an excitement in the air, uh, anticipation, the faithful, the Catholic faithful, and even the, uh, the Jewish faithful and the Muslim faithful are excited about uh, a pontiff once again uh, arriving on its shores. He's going to be spending two days in uh, Israel proper, uh, uh, one day in Bethlehem and Jerusalem area, uh, and then I believe in Nazareth, and then the third day in Jordan. There is a major event. The Vatican officials have already come uh, to the to the Holy Land to check out, like an advance team of uh, where the places the Holy Father will be going, what exact. Uh, functions are going, to be, are going to be held at those particular holy sites. For example, as we know from the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, he'll be meeting the, uh, the, uh, the Patriarch uh, Patholomew, uh, and which is a very important symbolic uh, gesture uh, at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, I think followed later on by Vespers. The present Holy Father is really, uh, he speaks the language of love. He has a great uh, personality. Uh, he is uh, so much with the people. Uh, he said one time recently that uh, the reason why he didn't stay in the Vatican Palace and live there because he didn't want to become isolated. He's a man of, uh, of great joy, a man of great simplicity, uh, and um, everyone, even in the United States, uh, I've been hearing, have been raving about, about this present pontiff. So uh, they've all been wonderful pontiffs, as we know, uh, and with two existing popes, Pope Benedict and Pope Francis, it's going to be a very unique time in, in, in our history of the church. But most of the people in, in Jerusalem, Bethlehem, and, and the Galilee are very, very happy. They're looking forward to at least seeing the Holy Father.